Good morning. My name is Richard Weitz. I'm a senior fellow and director of the Center for Political Military Analysis here at the Hudson Institute. Today, January 29, 2010, is the day after the conclusion of the London Conference on Afghanistan Reconstruction. Uh, the conference was very important. It was attended by over 60 countries. And the focus, though, was on a very controversial issue, the issue of uh, how to reconcile and reintegrate Taliban fighters, Taliban elements into the larger Afghan political process so that you would end the fighting and they'd rejoin the, the at least the peaceful, peaceful political reconstruction efforts. The concept of uh, reintegration is somewhat less controversial. The idea is that many of the Taliban, the people who are fighting for the Taliban are perhaps ordinary farmers who uh, have joined the insurgency perhaps out of local grievances, perhaps because the Taliban does pay well to recruit fighters. And the idea is if you could offer them a better opportunity rejoining the Afghan uh, political situation, the governments, and basically putting down arms, dealing with put, expressing their grievances through peaceful means, that would reduce much of the fighting we're seeing. The conference, one of the, the main purposes of the conference was to collect sufficient funds to be able to pay for this reintegration process. And it's been somewhat uh, mischaracterized in the press as giving people money to lay down arms. So that wouldn't work for the obvious reason then there'd be a strong incentive for everybody just to join the Taliban so they could collect the payment to then quit. The idea is that the uh, international community will give money to promote uh, civilian jobs for these people, uh, promote their basically reintegration into the Afghan social economic community. Um, the, we, some of this has been tried in the past. The problem they've run into is lack of funding and problems with Afghan governance. So the local institutions either were corrupt, so the money was misappropriated, uh, or they weren't able to carry out the, 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 the programs as designed. Now, the conference appears to have been successful in raising a lot of funding for this, this program, but it's still unclear whether the Afghan uh, political institutions, economic institutions, are going to be capable of being able to spend that money properly. Uh, some effort is going to be made to try and bypass central government institutions and deal at the local level, but, the, but even that could prove problematic in some areas. More controversial is this question of how do you uh, reconcile with some of the higher up people in the, the Taliban, people who maybe worked with al-Qaeda in the past. Um, these people are thought to have joined the, the insurgency not perhaps out of economic grievances so much as uh, because they ideologically disagree with the, the, the political order that's been established in Afghanistan either before they came to power under the Soviets or now. Uh, under the, the liberal democratic government that's, that's being established. And the, the idea here is if they could win over and rejoin the peace process, as we've seen in some other countries, basically express their grievances through nonviolent means, uh, form an opposition party, for example, with the hope of eventually winning majority support, that would remove a large segment of the fighters because they would presumably take their followers with them. The problem is the Taliban leaders themselves have been stating that there are very stringent conditions for, for any such uh, rejoining the, the, the political fold. Uh, and in particular, there's a concern about the constitutional order that was established a few, uh, in the last few years in, in Afghanistan, especially the problem of uh, protecting women's rights, since the Taliban has a very different vision of the proper role of women than do the uh, current Afghan authorities, and in particular than the Western backers. Uh, there's also some concern that the Taliban leaders think that actually the war's in their favor. If they just wait a few more years, uh, they'll gain power anyway, so why make a deal? And that's why the, the President Obama has been supported by the Allies' decision to bring in more combat troops is important because it, 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 the hope is that you might see a situation that you've seen in Iraq uh, where the turning of the military tide will make it more uh, difficult to recruit insurgents, will cause some people to defect from the insurgency. And so this is an, seen as an integrated political military process like, and with the economics basically pulling people back in. Uh, the problem is it's not clear uh, how long the surge will be sustained. The, the Europeans have put in a lot less troops than the Americans. And there are a lot of differences in Afghanistan and Iraq. And there's also a problem with timetables. Uh, President Karzai said he would need perhaps five, ten years to build up his own forces to, to a level where they could deal with the Taliban. And then additional funding beyond that because they couldn't afford to keep the hundreds of thousands of police and 
army troops that we want to establish. And it's not clear yet whether the Western governments have the, the, the stamina to stay that long to do the training and provide the funding. But we'll find out more about that as the year progresses. Thank you so much.